This is the video for unit seven, day one, where we are representing division. I forgot to change it on the worksheet. It's old. Instead of multiplying decimals, we're actually representing division. In unit six, we focused a lot on multiplication and addition of fractions and decimals. And in this unit, we're focusing on the division of fractions and decimals. Today's video is dedicated to Michelle in 6b. Hi, Michelle. Let's read our instructions. Imagine you are in a group of students, and each group is given a number of licorice sticks. Your job is to figure out how to divide the licorice sticks so that everyone in the group gets the same amount. For each situation, draw a diagram write an explanation, and a mathematical sentence. Our first situation says, Team A has three members and gets four pieces of licorice. You can draw your diagram however you want. I'm going to show you one way to organize the information. And if you like this way, you can do it too. But if there's another way that makes sense to you, you can do it that way also. All right, so we know we have three members in our team. So let's draw out those three members. One, two, and three. OK. And we also know that we have four pieces of licorice. Licorice, we're just going to use, we're going to draw a little rectangles like this. So we have one piece, two pieces, three pieces, and four pieces. So here we have our four pieces of licorice and we have to divide it evenly among these three people. Okay, so first I see that there's at least three holes three whole pieces, so I can give the three whole pieces to each person. So I'll give one whole here, that's one piece. I'll cross that out so I know that that's taken. One whole piece to person number two, okay, that's the second piece. And then one whole piece for the third person, that's that third piece right there. All right, so now everyone has a whole piece and now I have this piece that I have to split for three people. And so I start to think, how can I do that? Well, one way is I can split this last piece into thirds. That way I'll have at least three pieces. So let me split this into thirds now. Now it's into thirds. And I can distribute these thirds to each person. So I'll put a little third piece right here. That's one third, one third right here. Right, and I'll cross these off as I do it so I can keep track. That's gone, that's gone, and now one third here, the last third. Okay, now everyone has the same amount. For person number one, how much do they have? They have one plus one third all together. That's one and one third. Same thing here. They have one plus one third. So they have one and one third pieces of licorice. Here, same thing. One plus one third. And they have one and one third. Now for my explanation, I'm going to write out in words how I split up the four pieces of licorice to the three people. So if you remember, the first thing that we did was I first gave each person one whole, one whole piece. Then if you remember, what we did is we split the fourth piece into thirds and gave each person a third. Then I split the fourth p 
piece into thirds. and gave each person a third. Last part. I'll give you a few more seconds to write the, all this down. For the mathematical sentence, you're going to write out what we did with numbers and symbols. So we started with four pieces of licorice. Then we divided these four pieces. So we divided into three people. So four divided into three equal parts. And each equal part had one and one-third. So four divided by three is one and one-third. Okay. So, now once you've finished all of page three, your directions now are to close your computer, sign out, put it back, don't forget to wrap up the headphones so the headphones don't get um, tangled up, and then you are going to finish pages four and five. So put your computer away, put your headphones away, go back to your seat, and with your partner, finish pages four and five. You may go do that now.